We are off to the new world. Well, technically Fishman Island, but the two years is up and the crew is back together. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's talk about One Piece. So we are talking about chapters 598 to 603, the rest of volume 61. The two years has finally passed. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of feels like two years since I made a video because it's been like almost two weeks, I think, since that video came out. I took a little break too. I was like, Oda can take a break, I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> but yeah, I know I'm not wearing the right sweatshirt for this. I, I should get a One Piece sweatshirt, but there's like some really cool ones out there, but... Listen, I know I'm wearing the wrong sweatshirt. I, I get it. it I, I like this sweatshirt. I don't know. So it happened, though. It Luffy picked up the hat and put it on. I know I said it in the other video. It'd be cool if it happened. But when it actually happened, I was like, yes! I nailed it. <laughs> I got one. You know, a lot, a lot of things I get wrong. I got that one right. And it felt good. It was a really cool moment. So we get to see the Straw Hats after two years, and they have changed. I'm not. I'm not going to talk about Nami and Robin, but uh, they have changed. But also, Zoro has like a slice in his eye. I mean, in the cover, they they kind of give away how they changed, but it was still really cool to see. And that's where we're getting into this volume. Like, so the main point of this volume. Well, the rest of this volume is they are meeting back at the archipelago. And there's a fake pirate crew. <laughs> like, the running joke is there. Like, even Chopper gets confused. They're like, they have taken Robin. None, none of these pirates look close to the Straw Hats. Like, almost the complete opposite <laughs> of the Straw Hats. But they get taken for the Straw Hats. Which is actually a really funny joke <laughs> through the rest of these chapters. But what I really loved for these chapters, because a bunch of you guys told me, like, actually the next arc is kind of short. It's, it's just really the rest of these chapters. But what I really liked about them is you get to see the crew arrive at the archipelago. And they never forgot the two years. Like, even Brooke, who's like this superstar musician now. It was all to get here. None of that meant anything. It's all about Luffy and their mission. It was really, if you take it like that, I don't know, like it was super sweet. You're like, oh, they really do care about each other. Like it's just, it's, it's a really nice thing where it didn't matter. I mean, Sanji was ready to get off that island. <laughs> and they play with that like he finally sees real women for the first time and he gets the nosebleeds. I like Sanji as a character, we can all be honest here. We're, we can we can be honest. He can he can be a little cringe sometimes. D don't hate me. I like that character a lot. Just you know, Usopp is jacked now. He he was he was heavy. Now he's in great shape. And Luffy has the scar. Full disclosure: I've seen the scar before, but I never knew how he got it. It makes it that much more impactful that he has that scar. I, I think that's a great addition to his character design. I really, really liked it. Frankie is pretty much full robot now. He even tries to talk like a robot. And he can grow his hair at any hairstyle. It's, it's buzz shaved, but... <laughs> they press his nose and he grow, <laughs> grows like long hair. These chapters were 100% let's get them on the path to the new world and the story that Oda wants to tell for I guess the remainder of this new world arc that he's doing. And their journey to meet up at the Sunny is really well done. And the reason I say that is, you know, they all meet up and kind of have their fun interactions. Sanji and Zoro are always great. I think their dynamic is fantastic. It's been fantastic for a good long time now. But also Oda fit in Hancock, Perona, Silvers, even <laughs> Sanji's lady friends and Usopp's the, the Hercules coon 
with the Beatles. He was able to, in like five or six chapters, get all the Straw Hats back together, kind of give you feelings of what they went to in the last two years to all come back together, and also give credit to the people that have helped train them and helped make them better fighters and people in these last two years, all in five or six chapters. Like, there's, there's some people that cannot do that in, like, five or six volumes. And he did it in five or six chapters, and it's, it's so impressive if you really think about... I feel like volume 61 is one of the thickest... Densest? Probably a better word. Most dense volumes in the sense of the information that it was giving you. Like, it's, it's about 200 pages, and it feels like a packed 200 pages. Because not only that, does he introduce the new character designs for all the Straw Hats, he finishes the, the, the two-year training arcs for them. Which I hope! This is just, uh, it's just a hope. I hope that we get to see more of the training that they went through in the two years. Like, whether it be in flashbacks in the next few chapters or something. Because I think it would be very interesting to see what actually transpired. Because really, what we are shown is they're on their prospective islands. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, and then they're back together. Like, I understand that he probably doesn't want to show Usopp eating a bunch of food. I get that. But I do hope he, he hits on, like, because Zoro trained with Mihawk. I don't know if we forgot this. Like, that's what he was going to do. And we just kind of, like, Zoro just hops up <laughs> out of a submarine that he's cut in half. And him and Sanji meet each other. Like, Perona is there for a moment, but we don't get to see the Mihawk interaction with Zoro. That's my hope. Like, I hope we get a little flashbacks of what they went through in the last two years in their training. I hope. But I think the biggest, and this changes oh so much, <laughs> Kuma. What Frankie tells the crew after they are underwater and on their way to Fishman Island, which I really liked. They were like, more than one puncture wound. We, we It's not going to be good for us. But Frankie says, I'm going to tell you something. I was the first one to get to the Sunny. And Kuma's sitting there. The original Kuma. With his Bible in hand. And he's beat up. I'm talking about, like, he looks rough. He has been through it. Because he goes on to say, you know, Val and all them, you know, because they were going to take him to Fishman Island. Hitchon was going to take him to Fishman Island. But, you know, they got injured and like a year ago. And Kuma has been the one protecting the ship. This was a left turn I did not see coming. It's one of those moments that you just gotta be like, Oda! <laughs> Sir. Listen, I know you do it a lot. But you nailed it on this one. But that left turn of Kuma and the revelation and the knowledge that we learned that when he was close to Silver's... He says, you know, he's from the Revolutionary Army, which Luffy's dad, Dragon, is part of it. It was like six panels. <laughs> and you're like, oh no. This is so much information in six panels. Mm. But for him to sit there for a year and he says mission complete, because like Frankie said, he is now all robot. He said even the Kuma, when we meet him again, we have to realize that he is not that Kuma from before because the doctor that helped Frankie with all his augmentations helped Kuma get one last mission in his brain because he knew he was getting like reprogrammed or becoming full robot it was all part of the plan to send them to the other islands like what I did not see this coming for chapters that I thought was just like oh you know the crew is gonna get back together because in all full transparency I was going to read these chapters, and since it was so short since my last video, I was going to read like another volume, maybe volume and a half, so I could have like a, a longer video, because this one will probably be short, 
I'd imagine. I don't know. You're probably looking at the runtime being like, it's actually about the same length as your other videos. Maybe. But what changed it was that revelation alone. I was like, that's good enough to, I just want to talk about this. This is crazy. Because as you guys know at this point, anytime anything crazy, I'm like, ah, I, I have to talk. I have to talk to my friends. <laughs> my friends need to know. <laughs> no one I actually know reads One Piece. That's right. You, you, you know, <laughs> I was about to be like, go find people that don't, do not do that. But like, no one I personally know in my personal life reads One Piece. So you guys are my only outlet to be like, you guys, do you know this? Which you're like, of course we do. We're like 500 more chapters ahead of you. It's, we know. It's old news, but I'm glad you're finding out. <laughs> but it just changes Kuma's character so much. When you realize that he did all of this for a purpose. He did all of this to save the Straw Hats. Even though he was against them, but not. He was their friend, but now he's their enemy. Because he has now fully forgotten all of his memories. It makes him such a sad character. Like, you feel for him. I went from like, Kuma sucks. He is, he, he basically disbanded the Straw Hats. He sucks. But now you're like, I mean, Kuma, pretty cool. <laughs> I flipped 180 on Kuma. Kuma, cool. But yeah, I just wasn't expecting something that big to be at the back half of this volume. So where we kind of leave them is they're on their way to Fishman Island underwater. Their bubble cannot be punctured. Like, I mean, it can be punctured from double, multiple puncture wounds, but it, it can't be punctured in the sense that they would all not make it. And wet-haired Kabaru and blood-soaked Korbaru? I, I know that's not right. That doesn't even feel good coming out of my mouth. They are on their way to Fishman Island, being trailed, and they gotta watch out for, you know, fish life and jagged rocks and stuff so they can make it to Fishman Island. And apparently Sanji's gonna have a real big problem when he sees the mermaids. At least that's what it says on the next volume of One Piece. It's like, will Sanji make it when he sees the mermaids? Will, <laughs> will they need a blood, like, person on transfusion ready for him? Because he's going to lose so much. Sanji. You're such a good character, you just have some flaws. <laughs> but yeah, that's where we leave him off. I, I'm sorry if this is a short video. I just really need to talk about the Kuma stuff. And I'm just so excited that we have finally kind of gotten through the introduce these new characters after the two year gap. And now we're finally on the adventure. Like, I cannot wait for volume 62. <sighs> I know I say this every video, probably, but... One Piece is so good. Legitimately, it's, it's... The second I think I kind of got it figured out, Oda's like, but what if I make this turn? What if I go here with it? And the Kuma thing is just an example in a line of other examples. And I'm excited to get to volume 62. So again, sorry if this turns out to be a short video. I just really just got done reading the volume and was like, I have to to hop on in front of this camera and be like, guys, listen, I found something out that you probably knew years ago, <laughs> but it's still awesome for me. So yes, as always, if you've made it to the end of the video, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for your kind comments and supporting these videos. It means the world to me. I don't know how many times. I can say it, I'll probably say it every time because it, it's always shocking when like I put out one of these videos and everyone is just so excited for me to experience this incredible, incredible work that is One Piece. So thank you as always and uh, I promised next video will be longer. <laughs> but yeah, see you next time.